Aloha headsets, Frank here, and I know what you're thinking. Fruit Ninja? Come on, Frank. That's a kid's game. Play a man's game. And you know what? Normally, I might agree with you, but my own is this one fun. See, I don't see myself slicing fruit. I'm a dual katana wielding ninja, slicing and dicing myself into a sweat. The first time I heard about this game was two days before release. It was just a little blurb on the addition of VR trophies for Fruit Ninja on PSN, but I knew that at least that meant a game was in the works. Then, to my surprise, the day I report about its existence, it magically appears in the PlayStation Store. I had a buddy from Italy that stayed with me, and all he did the entire time was play Fruit Ninja. I played a couple times, but I never really got hooked. Then, when I saw it in arcades, I couldn't help but laugh. So, deep down when I first saw this, I was hesitant. Big mistake. This game is awesome, and my girlfriend wants to play it too. But, as always, don't just listen to me. Take a look. Story. You slice fruit. Visuals. The visuals are solid. I didn't see any tears or jaggies, and even when the screen was covered with fruit and I was slashing away like an Inigo Montoya, I didn't see a single frame drop. And I had no problem picking out the power-up fruits and the bombs. The only issue I have, and this is a tiny issue, is that you only get to play in one arena. Although it's not a big complaint, a little switch for maybe each game mode would be much appreciated. Audio. The sound works, but a little more music could help. There are mostly just sound effects, and honestly, that's all you need, but at times you do notice a certain sense of silence that I normally don't see in most games. Gameplay. The gameplay is what will sell you on this game and keep you coming back time and time again. Let me start this off by saying make sure you read the instructions when setting up your in-game height and arm length. I skipped past it, big mistake, and it took me two rounds to figure out how to press both move buttons and both triggers to pull up the options menu. But after I got everything set, worked perfectly. You don't need to press any buttons or hold any triggers. Just slice till your heart's content. And yes, it works wonderfully. The game offers four different modes of play, and although at the heart of each one you slice fruit, they differ enough in my opinion to satisfy my urges to slice. First up is classic mode. Slice away to your heart's content, but hit a bomb or miss three fruit and it's game over. I love this mode and love that you can just tap the bombs out of the way. Too much fun. Next up is arcade mode, which is my personal favorite. In this one you get 60 seconds to slice and shish kebab as many fruits as you can. In this one bombs won't kill you, but they will shed seconds off your time, which could mean a whole lot if you're trying to make the leaderboards. Thirdly, we have Zen Mode. This one's great too. Much more combo focused. You get a minute and a half to score as many points as you can. But don't forget about the great power-ups like the banana that can freeze fruit or the peach that nets you initial time. And don't worry, no bombs in this round. Just relax and try to line up as many fruit as you can and slice away. Last but not least, we have Survival Mode. This one is much different than all the rest. Instead of fruit just popping up in front of you, little robots fly around and shoot it at you. Starts with one, but soon another starts flying around. This is easily the most difficult mode, but it makes you want to get better. The game has no sympathy for your three lives, and even missing one fruit that flies at you will count as an X. Get three of those, and you guessed it. Game over. Although it's challenging, this mode had me hit and retry over and over, and wow, are the load times great. Motion sickness. No motion sickness at all. If you're worried that jerking your head around to see all the fruit will be an issue, don't. Most of the fruit stays right in front of your face, and there is so much open space around the flying fruit that you shouldn't get too overwhelmed. I was lightheaded after playing, but not at all from the motion sickness. This game is a workout. Drift. 
no drift at all. And even if there was, I didn't notice it. Not only that, but tracking on the move controllers was amazing as well. Honestly, seeing my cuts and fruit exactly where I wanted to slice really inspires a lot more confidence in the position of my PlayStation Move controllers. Value. A, 15 bucks is a little steep, but the gameplay is really amazing. The controls are solid, and all the modes differ enough to call them different modes. If you have the money lying around, and you've always wanted to try out your ninja skills, then you should definitely take a slice out of this pie. Verdict. This was a wonderful surprise in my quest to play and review every PlayStation VR game. If you ever like the mobile version, you're going to be in heaven. And if you like me and never really played it that much, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Half Brick Studios did a wonderful job porting their top seller mobile game over to the PlayStation VR. And honestly, we should applaud them. They probably could have sold tons of copies on name alone, but they put in the hard work and created a wonderful addition to your PSVR library. I'm dying on this one. Your channel is great, Frank. Thank you so much. I'm here for you. If you guys haven't noticed with all the giveaways and all the reviews and all the videos, it is here for you guys. Well, that's it for this one. Are you having fruit salad for dinner? Are you going shopping? Are you just gonna say forget about it? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you wanna stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR, and you don't mind looking at this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe!